Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing bathroom renovation. And first, let me show you a bit of what it's like before. The first thing we did was to tear down this old fiberglass bathtub and the surroundings. It wasn't as easy as we saw on the many tutorials, but we did get it out eventually and put the new top in. We then update the plumbing pipes and put the hardy boards on the wall. Use the joint compound to seal all the joints and the nail holes, and then apply the two coats of aqua defense for waterproofing. Before I put the tiles around the top, I pour the full tank of water into it and let it sit overnight. That way helps to start the bottom row with the right level. To put the tiles on the wall, the first row is very important. I used the spacers to support the tiles and also give the right space for the caulking line. This is the tile cutter I'm using for cutting the tiles. I bought it from Lowe's for under $50. It does take some practice for the perfect cuts. For some reason, no matter how carefully I did the measurements, it's always not the same when I put the pieces on the wall. So I used the skill that I learned from elementary school. I taped the floor for the wall size, then lay out the tiles with the spacers on. That way gives me the exact dimension to cut the corner tiles. The tiles I ordered from Wayfair. It's a 6 by 16 inch porcelain tile. And the color is matte black. The thin set I'm using was from Lowe's. The key is you must mix it until it's like a peanut butter. Now, I do want to take a little time to apologize for the delay of this post and explain the reason why. When I was transferring videos from the camera SD card to the USB port, I made a huge mistake. Instead of copying and pasting, I directly hit the move button moving all the files from the SD card to the USB port. I really don't know what happened during the transition, but all the videos were corrupted and could not be opened after that. I tried everything I could to repair the corrupted MP4 files, but nothing worked. It was very frustrating and I began to feel sick, so I dropped it for a while. Long story short, I eventually changed the direction, not to focus on the files already being damaged, taking a good look at the original source. I followed this one tutorial and purchased a software for recovering all the recently deleted files from the original SD card, and thank god that resumed 80% of the videos. Unfortunately, some of the earlier videos are still missing. So if you see some videos or pictures not with the high quality, that's because the other ones taken and saved with my phone. After tiles are completely dried, it's time for grouting. Again, everything takes practice. We always see those pros on the videos. They do everything like a piece of cake. But clearly that's not the case for us. Believe me, we can't do a whole wall at once like those pros. You need to follow instructions to a small section at a time and make sure to use a damp sponge to wipe off all the excess before it gets too dry. 
Keeping the surface clean is very critical for a clear line. After the grout completely dried, I used this grout sealer to seal the grout lines. I bought this from Lowe's. It's a nice brand, but I do not recommend to use the spray type. First of all, when you spray it on the wall, there's no way to prevent the liquid sealer dripping down. You have to constantly wipe it off as the instructions say it will leave the marks after they are dry. Secondly, you also waste too much on the dripping lines. The first bottle stopped the spraying out when there was still half a bottle of liquid in it. So I went back to Lowe's. This stuff was very nice to let me exchange to a new bottle. However, the new one stopped working exactly the same time as the previous one. I ended up having to press the drops out of the bottle and brush it onto the grout line. So I suggest you guys save the hassle and directly use other type. This is what the vanity looked like before. I wanted to repaint the cabinets but I didn't want to replace the countertop. So I must take the consideration to compromise the color I'm using for the cabinets and make it go with the countertop tile color. I decided to use any Sloan chalk paint. The color I picked is called graphite. It's more of a charcoal color. The videos for the painting part were missing, but I did another project also use the same color. I'll link it down in the description box for you. I ordered a set of knobs with an antique brass finish. I wanted to add knobs to all the cabinet doors. So I drilled the holes and then applied the two coats of Ina Sloan's black wax with the shop towel, 24 hours between each coat.
I love the way these knobs look on the cabinets. So elegant and they blend with the cabinet color perfectly. I was so tired of this small drop-in sink I had before. This time I ordered a vessel sink from Wayfair. It's a much bigger one so I don't have to cut or resize the sink hole on the counter. I painted the vanity wall with the color of a smoky blue and painted the rest of the wall with the color of a sugar white. The acrylic paint I got from Lowe's. The next project is to add the molding on the wall. I used 1x4 pine for the baseboard, 1x2 for the both the vertical and the horizontal boards, and then capped the, the top with the 1x3. All the boards I got from Home Depot, and I asked the staff to cut them into the sizes I needed. I did a 14 inch for spacing. This way makes almost perfect 7 equal spaces for the entire project. The dimensions for the boards will depend on the size of your wall.
After putting all the boards on the wall, I did caulking around the top, also the gaps between boards and the wall, and the speckling putty for the wood joints and the nail holes. And then gently sand it down with a 220 sanding sponge. The paint I use for the wall molding is Sherwin William Matte Black. The color is called the Tricorn. I did two coats and they turned out perfectly match the shower tiles. Okay guys, so this will be the first part of the bathroom renovation. In today's video, we did the top replacement, shower tiling, wall painting, vanity makeover, and the wall molding. Please let me know what you think about these projects and if there's any better ideas. I've always loved to read all of your comments. If you like this video, please give it big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my future DIY project. In the next video, we are going to make our own wall art, decorate the bathroom with completely DIY and the thrifted decors. I promise you the next video will be posted on time. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you very soon.